The Internet's not solely responsible for the collapse of journalism. I think that media consolidation uh, has led to a shrinking of newsrooms relatively over the last 25 years. It's not a new thing. But what the Internet has done is, is it greatly accelerated it and made it permanent. Uh, right now, we're faced with a dark situation that there's really no way to make commercial interests can make money doing journalism in any significant level. They might be able to do it for elites, business community, in the largest markets. But the notion of having a broad, popular commercial journalism, as we understood for the last 100 years, is sort of natural. That's no longer in existence. And what's taken place online and I write about this in the book that's, I think, most important. I don't think many people are aware of this. The nature of advertising is changing radically. We're going through an emergent, a shift from the traditional idea that an advertiser buys spots on a TV show or on a newspaper, and then the medium takes that money and bankrolls its content. So the journalism and the entertainment is paid for by the ads, and then uh, that's the deal. And all that comes with strings attached, but that's another side of the story. Online, increasingly, advertising goes directly to whoever they want to reach, and none of the money goes to the website or the content, or only a smidgen goes to it. They know so much now, they know everything about us at Facebook and Google and all these companies, that they say, we want to hit a million women, 18 to 23, who might be thinking about buying a car in the next six months. And we want them immediately. They will find those women, wherever websites they go to. And so there's no money in that for the websites. There, that goes to the networks run by people like Google and Microsoft and Yahoo and AOL. They pocket most of that money because they run these massive uh, internet empires. What that means for journalism, again, is a disaster. It means simply, if we're going to have paid journalists, working journalists, competing in newsrooms with fact checkers and copy editors who've got the institutional support to go up against powerful interests, uh, it's not happening online. There's just nothing there to suggest what ever will happen. It's going to be a public policy issue of the highest magnitude to solve that problem.